All right, guys, I wanted to check in with you before tomorrow and let you guys know some things that we're going to be doing uh, the next, actually, eight weeks. So uh, I've got two cycles uh, planned. Maybe we'll do you know, a third. We'll kind of see how it goes. Uh, but we are going to be doing what is called a Wendler 531. We finished up this past week. We had a lot of uh, success with our linear 12-week cycle, uh, strength cycle. And so I think that this is going to be a nice transition uh, from the linear cycle uh, into this 531. Uh, so basically what that means is like the linear cycle, we were doing basically all five reps uh, based on a five rep max, uh, you know, calculated from our one rep max. And uh, we did that for 12 weeks. Um, each, each round, it was three rounds, and then uh, we did a max set uh, on the third round. Uh, basically, the Wendler cycle is gonna be very similar to that. We're still gonna be doing three sets, but each week, we are going to basically be doing the set of five, starting out the first week, starting uh, you know, Monday, and then the following week, we're gonna do a set of three, and then the third week, we'll do a set of one, with the fourth week being a deload week, right? We're gonna do this two times and then have another one rep max week uh, after, after about eight weeks. Uh, but again, the setup is very similar to our linear cycle. We will have three sets and on the third set, the third set is going to be a max rep, right? But it will, depending on the week, it will be a set of five, a set of three, or a set of one. The goal here when it says five plus, three plus, or one plus, is a maximum rep exercise with good form, keeping you know, um, you know, keeping consistent with all the things that we've already been working on. So with the Windler cycle, right? The keys to success: uh, three big things here, right? Uh, the first thing is a lot of us are going to want to start a little heavier than maybe we should. Okay, uh, we are going to be progressing. So especially in that first week. That set of five, dial it down a little bit, okay? You will have plenty of opportunity in the following weeks. You will be doing heavier weights in the second week and even heavier weights in the third week before we do a deload week and then go right back at it again, okay? So please, start light. That is one of the keys to, this, to the success of this program. Uh, the other one is progress slowly. If you start light, don't make 20 pound jumps every week, right? Start slowly, or progress slowly rather, right? Um, you know, don't let your ego get in the way. And that's kind of the third key to success here, right? I have it down here, I'll put two stars, I'll underline it, check your ego, okay? And there's a lot of things involved in that, okay? Um, mainly is, you know, be honest with yourself. If you're lifting too heavy of a weight, there's always, always the opportunity to dial it back and then still try to have some success at a lighter, more manageable weight. Right? Uh, don't keep grinding it until you know you, you, you go into injury, right? Be safe, be smart when you're doing these things, right? And most often it's just a little short ego check. You know, go into lifts com uh, with confidence, not with any preconceived notions, okay? Uh, so we are gonna start our percentages, meaning uh, when we look at these percentages, right, we're gonna go uh, basically calculate our, our, our 90%, uh, our one rep max based on 90%, uh, our 90%. So in our uh, Wattify accounts, we're not gonna be looking at our one rep max, we're actually gonna be looking at our 90%. What that weight is, or what that weight is rather, and then calculate the weight that we should be doing for our sets of five, for our sets of three, and for our sets of one. That will make more sense as the weeks progress, okay? Um, and like I said, each cycle is gonna be about four weeks long with a deload week. We just experienced the deload week. Um, you know, it was relatively lighter weights, more manageable, giving the body time to recover. And then like I said, we're gonna go right back into another one cycle. Probably uh, after our second deload week, uh, eight weeks in, what we'll do is we might end up having a, another one rep max week. We'll see, kind of see how the cycle goes before we move into that, okay? Um, as always, make sure you know that you show up for these lifts. Get these lifts in. Uh, if you can't get them in in class, come in in the open gyms. Spend some time on them. Be smart. Be safe. And lift big.